Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another Marathon Wednesday. And today is a band that quite a lot of you have been asking for um, over the few last months or so. Um, we're talking about the Moody Blues today. Um, a band that I have luckily enough to have seen twice um, when they were, you know, the classic lineup ish. Um, brilliant band, never made a bad album in all honesty. Some of them are a little bit different and they move with times, but on the whole, they have made some really good albums. There's ones that I prefer to others, but when you put on a Moody Blues album, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, so they've released 16, um, they were formed in 1964 and initially consisting of keyboardist Mike Pinder, multi-instrumentalist Ray Thomas, guitarist the late Graham Edge and bassist Clint Warwick. They started off with a rhythm and blues and then that steady lowering up of Pinder, Thomas Edge, guitarist Justin Hayward and bassist John Lodge. And that's that classic era. Graham Edge was the only person that had been, until his sad death, had been in the band from day one. Um, so they've had one or two people come through the band. We'll go through it as we usually do. So let's get cracking on 16 albums of the Moody Blues. So, starting us off, coming at number 16, we've got the 15th album that was released in 1999 and it's called Strange Times. This sound features mostly acoustic guitar and slightly processed electric guitar. And it was the last album to feature longtime flautist and vocalist Ray Thomas. So on here we've got Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge. An additional personnel was Daniel L. Medina on keyboards. First track on this one is a song called English Sunset. Uh, it's got that proper moody blues sound, but it is a little bit too poppy for me. Um, Haunted, this one isn't too bad, still a little bit too poppy for my liking. Um, sooner or later, this is very Mike, Mike and the Mechanic sort of sound, which I don't mind. I mean, I love Mike and the Mechanic, so I'm going to like that track. Uh, Wherever You Are, a really nice track again, very middle of the road. Uh, it's a John Lodge song, pretty cool. Foolish Love. Just a nice gentle rock song. I've got no problems with that one either. It's a really nice track. Love Don't Come Easy. Um, this reminds me a little bits in this of um, the Beatles something. Really good track. Um, all that I, all that is real is you. It's not very good. I don't like that one. It's a little bit bits wishy-washy for me and um, strange times great track this sounds like very classic sounding moody blues my favorite track on the album words you say lots of strings on this but the best thing about this is justin's vocals really good as usual um my little lovely race thomas doing a little bit of singing here very nice track forever now i like this song it's strong Vocal, strong elements of the Moody Blues sound. Excellent track. The one, one of the weakest tracks on the album. Not a particular favourite of mine. The Swallow. It's just one of them little quirky tunes that you get from Justin and Graham Edge on the drums. Keeping that steady beat. Nothing Changes. A nice song with a great solo from Justin on the guitar. As I said, all these albums by the Moody Boots are pretty good. I don't dislike this one. I don't just seem to play this one as much as I do others. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Okay then, coming at number six, 15, we have the 16th album. 
and it's the final studio album by the Moody Blues and it came out in 2003 and it is called December and on here we've got Justin Hayward John Lodge Graham Edge with um, Daniel Madonna on keyboards again and Nordra and Mullen on the flute this album is very Christmassy um, don't need a reindeer modern day sort of a Christmas song and it's really got that Christmas feel to it December snow I like this track lovely guitar work feels very Christmassy although it is not a Christmas carol as such in the quiet of a Christmas morning which is a bark thing that um, Justin and John sort of did an interpretation of I think it's a really good thing as uh, really Christmassy on Christmas Day a yet another really modern day Christmas well, for 2003 Christmas song lovely song and then they do a cover of Happy Xmas War is Over I quite like their version of this and the up uh, side of this there's no Yoko Waino wailing on it so it's an actually good effort from Moody Blues then they do a version of um, David Essex um, A Winter's Tale written by Mike the Womble Bat and Mr Tim Rice and they do a very very good version of it The Spirit of Christmas a uh, very good track from John Lodge excellent stuff yes I believe not too bad uh, then we get a version of When a Child is Born. Everyone knows this from Johnny Mathis. One of the great Christmas songs. But I think the Moody Blues do a wonderful version of this, especially the flute. Then we get Quite um, White Christmas, obviously made for honest by Bing Crosby. And the Moody Blues again do a really nice version of it. Um, and then the album ends with In the Bleak Midwinter. Modern take on a Christmas carol, but they do it really good. There's a lovely guitar solo from Justin on this. A pretty good Christmas album that always comes out at this time of the year. And we'll talk more about that next week. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay, then coming in at number 14 is the 14th album, released in 1991, and it's called Keys of the Kingdom. Um, this is the decline in the popularity in the band with mainstream audience after their success on in the MT video generation. On here we've got Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge, Additional personnel, Patrick Moraz on keyboards, who played on the Relayer album by Yes, of course. Bias Bochel on keyboards, Paul Bliss did some keyboards. We've got Nigel Hitchcock, Jamie Tolbert on saxophones, Pete Beechill on the trombone, Guy Barker on the trumpet. Some extra drums from Andy Duncan. First track on here is called Say It With Love. This starts off with the, the ever Pendable Graham Edge drums, solid track. Bless these wings, that bring you back. Very solid track. Great guitar solo from Justin on that. Great guitarist is Justin Hayward. Is this heaven? A great song written by Justin and John. They wrote so many good songs for this band, and this is one of them. Say what you mean, parts one and two. I'm not keen on this. It's very poppy. I don't like it when the Moody Blues go and do pop. Stick to what you're good at. Lean on me tonight. I love this song. Great guitar solo. Great song from John Lodge. Hope and Pray. My favourite track on this album. It's got that real fast tempo Moody Blues energy. And then it's another blinding guitar solo from Justin. Shadows on the Wall. Isn't too bad. Nice pleasant song great vocal once is enough um love the riff of the beginning of this some great drumming from Graham at Graham the Celtic sonnet another Ray Thomas song it's got that real great Celtic feel to it of course and it's a great vocal 
Um, Magic, another of them songs sung by John Lodge. Really good. Very goes back to the 70s. Never Blame the Rainbows, another solid track to end the album. Another solid album. Um, don't play this one as much, but when I do play it, I tend to enjoy it. And so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.6. .6. Okay, then coming in at number 13, we've got the 13th album released in 1988, and it's called Sur la Mer. Ray Thomas didn't appear on this album, but he still remained a member of the band. So we've got Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Graham Edge, and Patrick Moraz. I know you are out there somewhere. Definitely got that um, distinctive sound of the Moody Blues. You know when it's a Moody Blues song, they have such a unique sound and a unique way of doing their prog music. It's a great track. Um, Want to be with you, great song, great guitar solo from uh, Justin. One of the little gems on this album. River of Endless Love. It's just a, a it's, it's got the staple of a moody blues song that's just been brought up to date. And the only thing I would say about it is that the drumming's a little bit plastic. You don't need a plastic drum when you've got a drummer in Graham Edge. But that's my only criticism of that song. Um, no more lies. I think you can tell where Mark and the Mechanics get some of their ideas from because this. There's not much difference between this song and a Mark and the Mechanic song. It's really, really good. Let me get my favourite track on this album. Here comes the weekend. I think this is a real modern day version of the song Question. Uh, that guitar style is very similar and it's a good track. Then we get Vintage Wine. Not a bad track. Some nice guitar work here from Justin. His vocal is strong as ever. Breaking Point, another good track. I do like Graham's drumming on this. It's got that sort of rolling drum sound, which I enjoy, and Graham does a fine job on that one. Miracle, I don't like this one at all, because it's got that horrible 80s nan, mampy pampy wishy-washy keyboard sound. Go away, dump it. <laughs> Love is on the run. Love the guitar solo on this. Absolutely amazing. Deep, another of those 80s songs that's got electronic drums. It's very much an upbeat version of Mama, the Genesis song. As I've said, Moody Blues have never put out a bad album. There's some really good songs on here. But there's a few little bits of 80s nonsense in there. But it doesn't spoil the album for me. And I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, then coming in at number 12, we have the 12th album. They've all sort of been going in order today. Um, it was released in 1986, and it's called The Other Side of Life. Now, this is the first Moody Blues album since Octave in 1978. So the lineup on here is Justin Haywood, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge, and Patrick Moraz. Um... First track on here is called Your Wildest Dreams. Although it's still got the vibes of an 80s song, I like the track. It's Justin Hayward's vocals on it. It's superb. Um, talking, talking. I don't like the drum production on this. <laughs> Rock and Roll Over You. Although it's an 80s sounding thing, it's got a very catchy tune. And I quite like that one. I Just Don't Care. There's just something about it, although it's got that 80s production, it's just again one of them quirky tracks that really you get into. Running Out of Love, my favourite track on here, it's more rocky, just classic sounding, moody blues. The Other Side of Life, another good song, catchy tune, under the keyboard, so there's a little keyboard run that th through this track that's really, really good. And, and then we get The Spirit, another good track. 
Um, although it's got a bit of that 80s production on it, it's still a very good track. Sling and Arrows, nice guitar solo in that one. Pretty solid track. It may be a fire. I love this track. Really good guitar work from Justin. It's a bit of a ballady thing, and it's a really nice one. Another mixed bag. Um, but on the whole, it's a good album to listen to. It's got some really strong songs on this. Some classic sounding moody blues. So I shall give this one an RTO ranking of 7.5. Time for a drink. Okay then. Coming in at number 11. is the 11th album. This is a bit freaky. It was released in 1983. And it is called The Present. So this is Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray, Thomas Graham, Ed and Patrick Meraz. First track on this one, Blue World. The keyboards on this from Patrick are fantastic. He's a great keyboard player and gives it that really proggy sound. Really good track. Meet Me Halfway. Um, we've got a little sort of duo here between Justin and John. I like them two singing together. They complement each other's voices very well. Sitting at the wheel. Great little track. Uh, lead singer on this one was uh, John Lodge. And it's got a, quite a nice rocky track like that one. Going Nowhere. And actually one of Ray Thomas's great vocals. Really strong vocal. I love this track. Um, Hole in the World, which is a little instrumental. Some uh, Graham doing a little bit of marching drums on here. Pretty good. Under My Feet. Not a particular favour of my, mine. Um, it's got that horrible 80s keyboard on it. It's cold outside of your heart. It's cold out there today. Um, like this song. Nice keyboard on this. Some solid guitar work from Justin. And a real good vocal from him. Running Water. Nice little track. Then we get a, a thing called I Am. Some lovely f flute from um, Roy. And then it goes into a track called Sorry. A song that Ray sings. I love this. I Am and Sorry go together perfectly. It's the best bit on the album. Fantastic. Um... Really good album. A lot of the tracks on here are really good, especially the last two. And they've got some of the this, them two are some of the best, my favourite songs from Moody Blues. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7.6. Okay, we're moving into the top 10. This was starting to get difficult now. <laughs> so coming in at number 10 is the 10th album. This is amazing, isn't it? Um, released in May of 1981. It's the first album featuring Patrick Moraz. And it is called Long Distance Voyager. So it's Justin Haywards, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge and Patrick Moraz. BJ Cole plays pedal steel on In My World. New Philharmonic Orchestrations, um, Pip Williams, mm, and Dave Simmons, there's some spoken word. First track on here is called The Voice, I love this, it's got that distinctive moody blues sound to it, it is just brilliant. Talking Out of Turn, got some nice riffs on here, solid track, Gemini Dream, it's not the best track on the on the track on the album. Well, probably one of the my least favourite tracks ever by um, Moody Blues. Um, In my world, really good track. This is great guitar work from Justin. Meanwhile, and keyboards are sounding a little bit um, 80s still and not very good. Don't know. If that's Pip Williams putting his fingers in pies that you shouldn't um, next track is my favourite 22,000 Days it's 
got a weird start of harmonicas and keyboards that really adds to the track. Nervous, I like this song, quite quirky, nice little vocal from John Lodge again. Painted Smile, it's not too bad. Then we have Relative Smile, this is a 36 second thing. No, this, sorry, start again Ian. Painted Smile is a song by Ray Thomas who sings it, it's, o it's okay. But the best bit is 36 seconds of relative, ref Reflective Smile spoken by um, Dave Simmons. It's so funny. Then we get Veteran Cosmic Rocker. I love this. The, the acoustic guitars are great. Very quirky keyboards from Patrick. It's got that misty Middle East feel to it as well. Really good track to end the album. Really good at the album. It's one of those albums that's very underrated. And if it was, if I was picking um, my favourite albums from the band, and I had a wild card, this probably would be the wild card because some of the tracks on there are absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of eight out of 10. Okay then coming in at number 9 is the ninth album. <laughs> I can't believe how this has turned out. Released in 1978 and it's their first song, I mean album, since 1972 and this was the last album that Mike Pinder played on. So we got the Um, Justin Haywood, John Lodge, Mike Pinder, Ray Thomas and Graham Edge. First track is my favourite track, Stepping Into a Slide Zone. Really good track this is. Love the harmonies on this one. Um, John Lodge's vocals great. You get the harmonies with Justin and Ray. And a bit of Mike Pinder in there. Brilliant track. Great keyboard work here from um, Mike Pinder. Um, Under Moonshine. Classic sound. Really good track. Ray Thomas sings that. Great vocal from him on that one. Had, had to Fall in Love. Nice little gentle song from Justin. Very good vocal. I'll Be Level With You. Everyone sings on this except Graham Edge. Um, it's a great harmonising song. Good stuff. Um, Driftwood. I, this sounds like a bit of a backup for Forever Autumn. Very similar sort of uh, track. And I like the guitar solo in that one as well. Then we get Top Rank Suite. A little bit different. It's got some horns in this, but it's a nice tune. Um, I'm Your Man, not one of my favourites on the album, I'm afraid. Survival, it's a bit wishy-washy for me. One Step Into the Light, Mr Pinder, doing a little bit of singing on this. I love his voice, and I don't mind that track at all. Um, the Day We Meet Again, nice track, nice arrangement with brass and guitars, all work well together. Nice way to end the album. This is a really enjoyable album. Um, it's got some classic songs on here. Stepping into the slide zone being one of them. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.4. We're starting to move into the real good stuff now. So coming in at number 8 is the 8th album. <laughs> Released in 1972. And it's the 7th Sojourn. Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge and Mike Pinder. Lost in a Lost World. Really good song. Love the vocal on this. Probably Mike Pinder's best vocal. Um, New Horizons, one of these nice gentle songs that um, Justin wrote. Really, really good. For the Lady. There's a nice little bit of harmonium on this, which really is interesting. Then you get that lovely bit of flute from from Ray, and a great vocal from him. A really good strong. Isn't Life Strain? 
great vocals here between John Lodge and um, Justin and then I love the guitar work from Justin on this one You and Me one of my favourite tracks by the Moody Blues you've got the great guitar with some great um, percussion from Graham on this and there's some tambourine on it great guitar work really good track The Land of Make Belief another of them solid tracks great stuff when you're a free man I love the flute and guitar on this let me get another classic from the band I'm just a singer in a rock and roll band love this song ah, it's just that classic moody blues song, song in their unique version a unique version of progressive rock there's no other band like them this is a great album it's got lots of classics on here with their brand of prog rock and I will give this an RTO ranking of 8.5 okay then coming in at number seven we go back to where it all started 1965 for the debut album the Magnificent Moody's the only album that featured Denny Lane and bassist Clint War Warwick so the band on this one was Ray Thomas vocals and percussion Denny Lane on guitars harmonica and vocals Clint Warwick on the bass Mike Pinder on the piano Graham Edge on the drums and additional personnel was Elaine Caswell on percussion First track on here is a uh, cover of a James Brown track called I'll Go Crazy. Great version of it like that. S something, something You Got. Another song written by a chap called Chris Kenner. Loads of people have recorded this. But I think this is a very good version. Then we get one of their big massive hits. Um, it's a Bessie Banks song called Go Now and I think the Moody Blues did a great version of it one of their big hits um, Can't Nobody Love You another song that's been recorded by everybody it's a Solomon Burke song from 64 and I think they do a really good version of it I Don't Mind which is another James Brown song Mike Pinder sings that really well I've got a dream. It's another song written by but it was written by Jeff Barry. Really good track. And they do a decent version of it. Let me go. This isn't too bad. This is a nice sixties pop song. Stop. I've loved this song. Always have. It's got a quirky melody. It's my favourite track from this album. Thank you, Bow. You'd be not particularly keen on that one. I ain't necessarily so. Now, this is a George Gershwin song written in about 1935, and Roy Ray Thomas does a great vocal on it. I like that version. True Story. It's a little short thing, but it's got a bit of that chinky, chinky, Bo Diddley feel to it. Really good. Then the last track is a great track from Sonny Boy Williamson II. Bye Bye Bird, great version of this track. Spanish guitar is pretty cool. The, this is a pretty good um, debut album, although it's got a lot of covers on, but a lot of bands did it in the 60s. Um, this is the only album they made in this vein because they went on to other things, but I do love this album. And I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8.6. Okay then, believe it or not, coming in at number six is the sixth album. <laughs> I can't believe I've done this this time. Um, it came out in 1970 and it's a question of balance. It was the attempt by the group to strip down their well lush psychedelic sound in order to perform the songs better in concert. So on here we've got Justine Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge and Mike Pinder. Opens up with one of my... I don't know if this is my favourite song. 
probably not it's probably my second it's question love them great guitars at the beginning remember when I saw them for the first time and they opened with this it was absolutely brilliant um, great song um, Fish did a version of this on his Songs from the Mirror pretty good track to do it's a great track how is it we're all we are here quirky little track nice vocal from Mike Pinder and the tide rushes in great vocal from Ray Thomas I love this the strings go well with this as well fantastic don't you feel small fantastic song the flute on this is absolutely brilliant and then you get whispering by J Graham Edge <laughs> doing an input doing the Jiddy Smith of gong bit of whispering then we get this lovely song by John Lodge the tortoise and the hare and it is about the fable of the tortoise and hare it's a really nice little trunk track love the Mellotron on this pretty cool it's up to you it's got a bit of that country rock on it uh, great vocal from Justin some great guitar work as well minstrel song minstrel song another solid track great vocal from John the harmonies are great as well dawning is the day lovely track um, vocal from Justin is really good Melancholy Man, this is my second favourite track on this album. This is a very proggy sounding thing, some lovely harmonies on it. The Balance is the last track, nice gentle track to end the album. Mike Pinder's doing some narration on this and a, and a pretty good narration. You really had a voice to tell stories. A solid album from top to bottom, not a bad track on this. Love to this album, play it to death. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 5, we get another fourth album released in 1969, and it's called On the Threshold of a Dream. Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas, Graham Edge and Mike Pinder playing all sorts of um, uh, um, instruments from cellos, mellotrons, double basses. So they're all having a go. First track is called In the Beginning. This is a narration um, by Graham Edge. We've got some lovely mellotron in here. It's a very short piece, but you just love mellotron. Lovely to see you. Great track. Some great guitar work here in this from Justin. Love that track. Dear Diary. This has got a jazzy, bluesy feel to it with a lovely flute from Ray. Great track. Send Me No Wine, very quirky, quirky song from the 60s. Lovely harmonies. To Share Our Love, my favourite track. Uh, it's a nice little rocky sort of number. Power track from... Great guitar work from Justin. So, so Deep Within You, a really another good track. We've got Graham on kettle drums on this that really rumble along. Never the Day, Never Comes the Day, a nice gentle track with some nice acoustic guitars on it. Really strong track. Lazy Day, love the Mellotron on this. Um, some nice harmonies, nice delicate guitar work as well. Are You Sitting Comfortably? I love the flute on this nice vocal from Justin as well pretty cool track The Dream Got that, um, narration from Steve from St Mike Pinder really good He's his voice has this sort of weird strong thing and he, he tells stories wonderfully and it's a really good track it's only 57 seconds long but it really is good and then you go into this another little short thing called Have You Heard very short song with a nice vocal from Mike Pinder and then it goes into an instrumental called The Voyage brilliant this shows what good musicians these guys were lovely percussion from Graham it's an excellent track which then goes into Have You Heard Part 2 then we go back it's very similar to the first piece really strong way to end the album solid album some classic tracks on this 
and I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9.2. Okay, then coming in at number four, we're going to the seventh album now. This is released in 1971. It's called Every Good Boy Deserves Favour. Uh, we've got Justin Hayward, John Lodge, Ray Thomas Graham, Edge, and Mike Pinder, of course. First track on here is called Procession. I really like this. The proggy um, keyboards at the start is fantastic. Got some great drumming from Graham. It's got this little bit of Middle Eastern textures to it. Then the story in your eyes. Love the guitar riffs on this. Good little rocker from the band. My favourite track on this album. Our guessing game. Some nice piano work here for Mike. And a great vocal as well. Um, Emily's song. A really nice song. Great vocal from John Lodge. After You Came. The harmonising vocals. Everyone gets involved with this. Really, really nice vocals. Um, One More Time To Live. Lovely flute here. Really mixes well with um, the guitar. And that's why I thought I think that made um, Moody Blue stand out. Was the flute on these tracks and the guitar work. Fantastic. Nice to be here. A really good track again. Again, dominated by flute and guitar. Lovely track. You Can Never Go Home. This is what I think made... The Moody Blues so good. And harmonies. Which went well with the progressive music at the time. It was just something about that. My song. Got a little bit of harp on here. Really different. And it's a really good track. Great vocal for Mike on this. This was getting tough because these are all great albums. Another solid album from top to bottom so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 9.3 number 3 this is where it started really getting tough um, we go to the 5th album from 1969 to our children's children's children classic lineup: Justin, John, Ray, Graham and Mike first track on here is called Higher and Higher Starts off with a bit of Mike Pinder narration, like some of these early albums did. And I love how the dramatic starts, the keyboards, and the narration really adds to it. Builds up, and then it goes into Eyes of a Child, part one. I love this. Classic Moody Blues. Brilliant stuff. And then it goes into Floating interesting lyrics uh, great vocal from Ray Thomas then we go back into Eyes of the Child Part 2 I love how they done this Eyes of the Child runs into another track back into Eyes of the Child very clever There's a, it's a lovely flow it's a great track I never thought I'd live to be a hundred um, a little short track short and sweet Justin and his guitar then we get this um, instrumental called Beyond. Oh. Progressive rock. It, it's just unbelievable best. And the this the uh, Moody Blues version of Progressive Rock. It's my favourite track on this album. This instrumental. It's just wonderful. Out and in, um, certainly got that 60s vibe to it, poppy sound, uh, nice singing from uh, Mike Pinder and John Lodge. Then we get Gypsy, Out of a Strange Time, another of my favourite tracks on this album. The, ar the arrangement is fantastic, the guitar sound good, the strings work well, it's just perfect. Eternity Road. Great work from Justin on the guitars and drives the song along. Candle of Life, solid track. Um, great vocals on that one. Um, Sun is still shining. Love the vocal from Steve, uh, Mike Pinder on this. 
really really good the string strings do make it though I never thought I'd live to be a million uh, this is a part two of his Justin's little little ditties this is 34 seconds very similar to a hundred one then waiting and watching love this song probably one of Justin's best vocals great album but you can't just put the odd track on here you put it on and play it all the way through not a bad track on this at all love playing this album I'm gonna give this an RTO ranking of 9.5 top two now this was tough I love these albums as much as each other but I went this way in the end so coming in number two we've got the third album released in 1968 and it's called In Search of the Lost Chord Mike Pinderay, Thomas, Justin Hayward, John Lodge and Graham Edge starts off with a little bit of narration but this is Graham Edge at this time it's, dramatic, it's only 44 seconds but there's dramatics and all sorts then we get one of my favourite tracks by Moody Blues, Ride My Seesaw a classic soul song from Moody Blues, great stuff. Dr. Livingston, I presume. Very quirky song, sung by Ray, about Dr. Livingston. Pretty cool. House of Four Doors. It's got a very classical feel to it, with some lovely flutes. Psychedelic sound, poppy, really, really good. Legend of a Mind. Love this track. Uh very psychedelic great vocal from Ray then we get House of Fours part two which goes straight it's again one of them tracks it starts off with one track goes into another and comes straight back into the last bit of House of Four Doors nice Mellotron on here lovely cool track Voices in the Sky what I like about this is the gentle guitar from Justin and that lovely flute from Ray a great vocal from Justin the best way to travel great little track flute from Ray is really good on this again terrific stuff visions of paradise again dominated by some flute from the flute of mr. Thomas superb stuff the actor very quirky track again it, there's a lot of flute on this album it's really good then we get the word which is Steve um, Mike Pinder doing some um, more narration early Moody Blues albums will be complete without a little bit of Mike Pinder doing his bit then we got Om which is very feaky mixes of psychedelia nice vocals it's really strange but a great track this is another of those Moody Blues albums you just cannot put on the odd track you played all the way through great album one of my most played Moody Blues albums and I'll give this an RTO ranking of 9.6 so my number one been playing this I was not introduced to this album until the 90s like a lot of my Moody Blues although I'd seen them I mean I liked all the hits but it wasn't until the 90s where I really um, started buying all their albums. I've always had a greatest hits album, but it was the 90s that I really went way back into the cat catalogue and I've loved it ever since. So, my number one is the second album from 1967, Days of Future Past. This was Justin Hayward and John Lodge's first album with the band. So it's Mike Pinder, Ray Thomas and Graham Edge and the London Festival Orchestra appears on this. First track on here is called The Day Begins. The Day Begins Morning Glory which is an unlisted. It's a, a, what does I like about this? It's a great start to the album. It just feels like it's the beginning of the day with the orchestra in it. It's really good. Then we get Dawn and uh, Dawn is a feeling this is great the Moody Blues and 
of the orchestra. A great vocal from Mike. Loved the track. And Justin does a little bit of singing on this, which was excellent as well. Really good track. The Morning, Another Morning. The orchestral in this is wonderful. Uh, great vocal from Ray Thomas. Absolutely beautiful. Lunch Break, Peak Hour. <laughs> wonderful um, it's got that hustle and bustle of a of a lunch hour um, great little rock track great vocal from John Lodge then we sort of get another great piece the afternoon forever afternoon classic tracks track by the Moody Blues one of my favorite tracks by them then we get evening the time to get away um, they get the big tram from that uplifting track of um, Forever Afternoon. You get this more melodic track with some lovely vocals from Justin. The strings are brilliant. Then we go into the piece called Evening, the Sunset Twilight again. This is a very sort of 1950s housewife choice sort of thing. Strings, really nice. And then it goes into um, smooth sort of transition music. Really nice. Then we get my favourite bit on the album. And it includes my favourite song. It's The Night, which includes Night in White Satin. Which is a beautiful song. It's one of my favourite tracks. The orchestral work on this. Um... When this album came out, obviously I wasn't too young, and I sort of knew about Nights in White Satin. It's always been one of my favourite songs. But I didn't hear this all the way through until a friend of mine, who's sadly no longer with us, we used to put this on in his car, and it was him that really introduced me to this album. Because um, he said, you like Moody Blues? I said, yes. Yeah. Have you ever heard this album? And I went, oh, I know of it, but I've never heard it. It blew me away, and it was my sort of my real start and journey into the Moody Blues catalogue um, and then I just love them and it's that's why it's my number one album because it really did hook me into this band at the time I was just what I call the greatest hits of Moody Blues type person but now I'm a proper fan and I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 because it's just an absolutely amazing album for the time just love it and I just can't get enough of it you just don't put this odd track on I put this on and I just love listening to it especially under the headphones okay that's all for today um, I'll be back tomorrow though we've got a battle of the bands I've gone solo and I've got a great one for you tomorrow we have got Black Sabbath against Ozzy Osbourne which will be a really interesting one. And then we've got another debut show from the Pick and Mix. And this is a stroll down the sidewalk where we look at the US top 10 for tomorrow, which is the 15th of December. And the year we're looking at is 1964. Um, We'll be back, of course, at 8pm tomorrow for a live stream. So have a great day, everyone, and bye for now.